SpaceX just took the wraps off its most advanced rocket ever, the towering stainless steel Starship MK1 prototype. This thing looks straight out of a sci-fi movie. In this video, we'll explore this shiny new spaceship, hear how Elon Musk wants to develop it, and look at how Starship could kickstart ambitious goals like moon bases and Mars colonies. Starship's stunning debut suggests a thrilling new era in space travel is dawning, one that could see humanity spread amongst the stars. Elon Musk's drive to make humanity multi-planetary didn't start with Starship. It traces back to SpaceX's founding. When Musk launched SpaceX in 2002, he always envisioned it as a stepping stone to realize his sci-fi dreams of lunar and Martian outposts. Early on, SpaceX needed to master rocket reusability and spaceflight economics with its Falcon 9 reusable rockets. But Musk continually built their capabilities towards launching something much bigger one day, a fully reusable spaceship for deep space travel. After years of hardware-rich design iterations, SpaceX unveiled its Mars transport vision to the world in 2016, calling it the Interplanetary Transport System. Even then, the planned 400-foot rocket was staggeringly large. This audacious proposal morphed into the Big Falcon rocket concept in 2017, still gigantic at 350 feet but leaner and meaner. By 2018, the Starship name emerged as SpaceX homed in on today's awe-inspiring design. Make no mistake, Starship is the trailblazing vehicle Musk has envisioned all along to launch the first humans towards Mars. And with MK1 now real, this dream is tantalizingly close. Starship is rising, not from SpaceX's famous Florida launch sites, but the barren scrubs of South Texas. This site near Boca Chica Beach, which SpaceX started developing in 2014, may seem like an odd choice for a spaceport. However, the location provides wide open spaces for SpaceX to experiment and room to grow. It also gives core teams space to innovate away from the Cape's crowded launch schedule. While Boca Chica started as a secondary test site, it's now a key part of Musk's plan an ideal proving ground for Starship. Its first test will launch over water, keeping risks away from land. Some local residents have complained of frequent road closures and other disruptions from testing, but many hope Starship's success could also bring economic opportunities to the remote town. If Starship flies as often as envisioned, a depleted South Texas town could be reborn as a bustling space coast the future home of Mars voyages, moon bases, and more. Soaking in Starship MK-1's dramatic reveal, it's clear that SpaceX has come an almost unbelievable distance from its founding in a cramped office 18 years ago. Just look at it, Starship is the future imagined. From its 160-foot height to its smooth steel skin, the MK-1 captures the imagination in a way space vehicles haven't for decades. And it isn't some mock-up, this is a functional prototype preparing for big things. Seeing the Starship tower beside its engineers gives a visceral sense of its solidity and power. When Starship MK-1 eventually blasts off on columns of fire, roaring to orbit, it will be a sight like no other. This clean sheet design also reveals Musk's engineering vision. The switch to steel from carbon fiber was a masterstroke enabling easy construction and adding strength. And the pivots from small fins to large tail wings show SpaceX rapidly iterating full-scale prototypes, speeding the path from dreams to reality. Given the scale of this new mega rocket, you'd think it would be years before the first Starship test launched. But Musk is targeting less than six months, an astonishingly compressed timeline. Can they really pull off such a feat? Well. With SpaceX, you can never rule anything out. Their progress constantly outstripes expectations. Rapid testing and design tweaks enable the Falcon 9 to go from its first hover to delivering cargo to space stations in just over three years. If Starship develops at a similar pace, anything is possible. 
With MK-1 now built, SpaceX engineers are working non-stop in Boca Chica to prepare it for ground tests. Prototype spaceships like MK-2 are already under construction too. It's unclear if bureaucracy and regulations could slow things down, but if the red tape doesn't interfere, it wouldn't be a bet against SpaceX meeting this ambitious launch target. If Starship's development matches Falcon 9's, what can we expect in the next few years as testing gains steam? The path from prototypes to orbit and beyond will likely follow an incremental arc. The first huge milestones will be short test hops just a few miles high. Watching MK-1 rise on thrusters and touch back down will prove out the most basic launch and landing capabilities. These initial flights will be key for gathering data and refining designs. SpaceX will also need to test higher and faster hops that will push re-entry heating limits. Once higher altitudes test hit maximum target around 12 miles up, SpaceX will be ready to attempt full orbit launches. Refueling in space can then extend Starship's reach to the moon and beyond. Each step will prepare Starship for more complex missions. If SpaceX hits the stride quickly, we could see Mars cargo flights commence in the next decade. Since its founding, SpaceX has never wavered from its goal from enabling a Mars colony with up to a million residents. Botched missions and exploding rockets have slowed but not deterred them. So now that the Starship is real, what will it take to settle humans on the Red Planet? Once testing is complete, SpaceX envisions sending an initial wave of cargo Starships ahead of human flights. These unmanned ships will deliver the equipment, habitats, and supplies needed for long-term survival. Multiple launch windows, spaced 26 months apart, will steadily build Mars outposts. When the planets finally align for crewed flights, perhaps in the 2030s, Starship will ferry settlers who dare to venture where none have gone in generations. It will take an entourage of ships and years of dangerous work to establish a foothold. Musk aims to have cities up and running by 2050. Undoubtedly, there will be setbacks, but by embarking on this epoch voyage, we'll learn if humanity has the grit to expand amongst the stars. If you think Starship's enormous size is overkill for launching humans, remember that it's about far more than brief orbital jaunts. The moon is actually SpaceX's first destination. NASA contracted SpaceX to deliver Starship into a lunar lander for its Artemis program, set to return astronauts to the moon's surface around 2025. But Starship opens up far bolder prospects, like constructing a permanent moon base for science, mining, and more. No longer confined to capsules, crews could settle the lunar frontier in spacious habitats. Future moon settlers might use lunar ships as mobile homes, relocating across the surface between missions. The ships that brought them could become storage tanks, workshops, and garages. Starship's ample cargo capacity could also enable major construction projects like telescope arrays and rocket factories on the moon. Musk even proposed a lunar starship that could return rocket stages to Earth. The moon and Mars often get pitted against each other as destinations. But Starship's flexibility means we can set our sights high and chase both new frontiers. With the unveiling of Starship MK-1, SpaceX and Elon Musk have taken a giant leap toward their long-held vision of colonizing Mars. This video explored Starship's origins, the rise of Boca Chica, capabilities, rapid testing plans, and potential as a flexible deep space vehicle. Seeing this futuristic prototype ready for launch suggests that after decades of minimal progress in human spaceflight, a thrilling new area of exploration could soon unfold. I can't wait to see what SpaceX does next. Let me know if you want a future deep dive on the eight ways starships could transform Mars or any other ideas you have in mind. I'll see you in the next video.